Hey, what's up? I want to say hello to the weight loss surgery community out there. My name is Jam, and it's this, I like to call it a life as I know it did. Um, it's been a while since I did one of these videos, but I just want to say I've been doing great. Um, February of 2010, I had a VSG, which they also uh, nicknamed the sleeve surgery, which is not gastric bypass. Um, the sleeve is where they actually cut reduce your stomach. It's more of a drastic measure um, in a battle against weight loss. Um, and I went in for the lap band and the doctor suggested that uh, the sleeve for me, which is also called the VSG. You can look that up. And I didn't know nothing about it. I had to do my homework on it. And I will say to this day, best decision that I made for me. Um, you know, you have your lot of naysayers about weight loss surgery. A lot of people don't like to discuss that they're having it and so on and so on. For me, you know, I'm open with it. Yeah, I tell you I had it without any problems. Some people like to pick my brain about it, which is no problem. And sometimes it can get a little annoying, but then, you know, I still answer, especially when it's like the same questions are well, how can you do that and blah, 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 you couldn't do it this way, you know, and to each his own, I can respect that. And I know this surgery comes with a lot of criticism, but like I say, I did what I did, what was best for me. Um, I started at 413 pounds. That's my heaviest. I lost about 10 pounds prior to my surgery. The day morning of my surgery, I was exactly... 399 pounds. Um, today I am 215 still, yes, because I was like 225 forever. I was, ooh, like a week ago I had like a weight gain, but I was kind of sore too and I was in pain. I'm like, darn, the scale going back, what the hell going on? But I've been exercising really heavy. And um, so, and I was so, and I was in pain. And then, you know me, I try to put it in a positive. I'd be like, oh, those, that, that's that muscle. That's that muscle I'm gaining. <laughs> so, um, but other than that, I got on the scale this morning and I was overjoyed. Um, because it just seems like I was going to never get out the 220s. And, um, I think I would be happy to be under 200 pounds, but. I would be ecstatic if I can get to at least, I would think 160 would be safe. But if I get to 180, I'll be thrilled. I um, you know the day I get under 199, I'm just going to do a dance, you know. I mean, you know, once once I get in Wonderland, I'm just going to do a dance. Just period. I might put it on YouTube. I said I might put it on YouTube. <laughs> so, um, other than eating-wise, um, I picked up. On my peanuts, y'all. I mean, damn honey roasted peanuts. They are the devil. Um, I still do good. I still got some cereal bars in there that are unopened. So that means I am winning there because I was out of hand with the special K cereal bars. I really was. And the peanuts too, but even though I have them, it's just for me that I like to have something to snack on. I like fruits. I, I started juicing. I done got out of control with that. I haven't done it in a couple of weeks, but once I started, I was like out of control. I was doing it every single day. I was blending some of everything, but it's really good. Um, I tried one of those flat, fat flushes too. Wasn't the greatest taste. I just, I tried it, but I ain't too much care for it. But I must, for me, it seemed like it worked because I was going to the bathroom and I made one little small, like probably 20 ounce thing I stuffed strawberries and mint leaves that's all I did strawberries mint leaves chopped up I let it sit overnight um and I drunk it over a two-day period so um it was it's it's something that's really an acquired taste I'm going to try that again but I want to try it probably with maybe some cucumbers some oranges try it with more things because I did I just did it with mint leaves and strawberries so I'm going to try that again um uh, with uh, the sleeve surgery, I experienced, I noticed still to this day, I get upset stomach if I eat stuff a little too sweet. I was sick recently because I ate a pastelito, a guava and cheese, matter of fact, and um, I got miserable. I mean, my stomach started turning, and they say with 
our surgery, when I say our surgery, people who have had the sleeve per se, that there, there is a, a no dumping syndrome like it is with gastric bypass. Um, but, you know, people in the community call it dumping anyway when you eat stuff too sweet and it disagrees with you. For me, it's just it doesn't come up. It just upsets my stomach. And also when I eat stuff extremely too greasy, upsets my stomach also. And don't get me wrong, I eat greasy food. I eat stuff that I'm not supposed to eat. And I will admit to that. That's why I tell anybody I'm not on a diet. And I really try to watch what I eat. And I, overall, I think I do a pretty good job as far as seeing where I've come from and knowing that I'm stronger now and and sometimes I, I do say no and have to turn down things. And then sometimes I have those cravings. Well, gosh, I got to have that. I got to have that. I got to try it. Or sometimes I buy stuff just to try it. And then I don't even finish it. I throw it away or I try to give it away, you know. But um, overall, I've been doing good. I did. Uh, I, don't, I don't know the name of the machine that goes like this and then moves your leg. I, I think it's called an epileptical. And I know somebody might correct me on that. I know I said it wrong. But um, I did that machine for the first time last week, just for a few minutes. And, you know, I felt proud to be able to do that. And I figured little by little, gradually and gradually, I'd be able to do more and more and more until I'd be able to do like a full half an hour and then go up to a whole hour, you know, so working on that. And that's pretty much it with me as far as keeping things jiggly and stuff and I'm loving my shoulders, by the way. I don't know if it's a crime, but my shoulders, I love them. I, don't, I just, ooh. For some reason, I swear I got like the sexiest shoulders. Let me just, let me show y'all. Y'all see that shoulder? Wait, bam, you see that? Ooh. I don't know how to act. I swear I got the sexiest shoulder ever. I'm working on everything else. My arms a little smaller. If you, um... I did a response to another YouTuber video about having big arms. And when I look at that video and I look at the arms now, you can really see the difference as far as me working out more and stuff and um, doing weights and bands and everything. So I'm also doing a little the waist shaper thing too. I do do that. I wear my little corset waist shaper pretty much every day. Um, I don't have it on today, though, but I um, mean, as far as Monday through Friday, I pretty much wear it every day. Um, you can be adjusting my wig, y'all. And I have another one I use for exercising. So I wear that when I do my walking and when I do my, my aerobics classes. So so I have two. I have a latex waist uh, corset, waist center, they call it. And then I have the exercise band, the the waistband I, you know I do for exercising and I do for my walking also and um other than that overall I've been doing great um I've moved all the items that I normally sell I put links on the bottom of things that I do as far as like organo gold and the stuff that I was selling I moved it all to eBay I was on Attaway thumbs down to them as soon as I moved my stuff to eBay shit stopped selling <laughs> I was like wow matter of fact I gotta ship some chicken I gotta do that so just to wrap things up um I hope this video of the hoots because I did one a few weeks ago and it didn't and I was really disappointed so um Hopefully you guys get to see this and this was not all in vain. Remember to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Until then, you guys have a great day. Thank you for watching. Thank you all my new subscribers. I see I'm slowly inching up there little by little. So, you know, hey, um, I don't do this avidly like I as I started out, but I'm trying my best to, I'm going to, I'm going to try my best to load more videos and do more keeping things jiggly videos and more rig reviews as I was doing and so forth. So till then, deuces.